Hey guys, welcome back. Um, if you remember, we just got our shit kicked by Sabat vampires. We drank all of our blood while fighting them, and we basically killed an entire gang of humans because I'm inept at stealth. And so now... Holy fuck. I didn't... Didn't really expect you to be literally right behind me, Bertram. Okay. Well, anyway... Um, so there is that. I'm gonna see if I can pull a heal here quick. I don't think it helps against aggravated damage. It doesn't, but now I need blood. Okay, great. Um, let's just not worry about that right now, and let's talk to this guy. What up? I blew up nice your warehouse. Work, fledgling. I felt that explosion a mile away. It's all over the news, too. Man, there's gonna be some pissed off Sabat just howling for blood tonight. <laughs> Yeah, no, there are, because I did not kill them. I just ran away. You know somebody named Beckett? Beckett? Well, I know of him. Why? Uh, I heard he was in town. No kidding. Huh. Must be something major happening if he's in town. Beckett is a historian of sorts. Okay. He's unearthed more vampire lore than anyone. Okay. Well, that's all Beckett does. Seek the truth behind our condition. Is it weird that I thought... He was a werewolf? Uh, actually, while I'm here, Bertram, do you have any... What do you need? Answers? Hey, yeah, I met your ghoul, Knox. I know you did. Sharp kid. Contract like a bloodhound. I watched him work for a while before I approached him. I had no idea how eager he would be to help. He is eager. You knew I did? I knew you would. I had him watching you-know-who for me. It was inevitable you'd pass through a joint. I told him to keep an eye out for you, gave him lines to feed you, the whole bit. Seriously, he's not that bad of an actor in real life? Damn. Um, he needed my help. An Asian vampire was stalking him. No. You helped me remove a spy without revealing myself or getting my hands dirty. Pretty good actor, that Knox. Huh? God damn it. That's not very nice. Don't take it hard, Fletchling. I won't be the last elder to milk you for a favor. Great. Well, now I'm out of here. I really don't care. You better care. get back downtown. Prince LaCroix is going to want to hear all about this victory. Mm, downtown? I get to go downtown? What's up, guys? Nothing to say? All right. Now, if I remember, hold on. Log. Report to Prince LaCroix Adventure Tower. Um, muddy. Downtown. Yeah, that's downtown. Nothing was able to figure out. The region's riddle. Okay. So. Nope. I failed a couple of quests. Yeah. Okay. They actually failed the same quest twice, it seems. Alright, cool. Um. How do I. Shit, that's not the white one. There's one of these boards. If I remember correctly, yeah, one of these bus stops takes me downtown. God damn it, that's not it either. Hold on, um... I am here. Oh. Never mind, I forgot. Where to? Uh, away from here, buddy. Let's go downtown. This is exciting. I don't think I've ever been to downtown since the first time I played this game, which was a long time ago. Hey, it's that guy. It's that exact guy. Oh my god, I'm a dumbass. Fun times. Let's drain it. Let's not. Let's take it and leave it out for the sunrise. Let's not do that either. A lot of fun with this one. Can we not? Did he just break the fourth wall? Son of a bitch! Did he just get shot in the head? My hero. Leave. There's three of us, Rodri. 
I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Three of us. What are you gonna do? Shoot us? This ain't over. We'll find you. You too, Rodriguez. You're both dead. Nobody messes with a Sabbat and lives. Keep moving. I can only wonder, does this happen if you Trouble kill sure clean? Like you clean? Or get away? But shit. Good effort. Execution needs a little work. You look you, like shit. You look Thanks, fucking man. amazing. Thanks for the help. Well, also, you're so tall that you don't fit on the screen. Should have been more careful, Luby. This ain't the burbs. I'll remember that. I remember you from court, though. Kid, I got things to deal with. Why don't you pay me a visit at the last round tonight? I don't know what you've heard so far, but it's time you heard the real story. I'll do that. This is a mean existence. Stay out of trouble, kid. Okay. That was exciting. Isn't the last round the bar that uh, Jack told me to go to? You know, if he said if I survived, I could come visit him there? That'd be cool. All right. Taxi cab dropped me off on the middle of a dead-end street somehow. Oh, no, no, never mind. All right, so... New place to get lost in. New sewers to take if necessary. Now, I do not remember much about this place. Although this place has my favorite baby sale. Um, has my favorite quest in it if I can find it. I really need blood and I do not have a ton of opportunities. So maybe I should take this lady up on her services. Or um, find a club or something. What the fuck? guys just hanging out all right cool whatever I guess um, hmm. there's a parking um, hey a guard can I talk to this guy hey, what's up nope can okay, I can go through here though this is that same entrance yeah okay good times um I know I need blood, goddammit. I'm working on it. I'm trying to find somebody to eat. I don't really want to eat homeless people. I just don't want to. I mean, the, the lot of being homeless in a video game is probably the worst ever. You have the same character model as me. Don't stare at the wall. I know. You totally do. I'm going to eat myself. <sighs> Fan fiction authors, eat your heart out. I'm eating myself. There. Okay. So that was cool. Thanks, me. Um. Alright, well that's handled. Cool. Got enough blood for now. Did you take a piss over there? He's peeing all over himself. You just can't tell. I could commit a murder if I wanted. There's really no reason. Is there nothing in this whole place? What the hell is going on? I mean... Also, every parking spot in this entire lot is a compact car. Except for the one that the con not compact car is parked in. Um... This really isn't a very luxurious new location and kind of a shitty hub there's this nonsense down here that was the beauty of that other little neighborhood you're in it's so fucking compact and full of stuff it's so cool but if i remember right uh empire arms that's where the prince is so i think we're gonna go there hey do you know you have like 12 twin sisters? Alright. I'm here to see the 
sprints. Yes? May I help you? Not right now, apparently. No, wait a minute. Am I dumb? Venture Tower, not the Imperial Arms. Okay. What up? Do I smell or something? These people, nobody will talk to me. Although you're something else. You look like an extra from the Goth Club set that didn't make it. But you won't talk to me either. Nor will you, nor will you. Nox! Seriously? Did I glitch this game out? What the hell is going on? What's with the silent treatment, dude? <sighs> Fuck you then. What can I get you? But you, you're my friend from the other part of town. I totally made out with you once. You don't remember me? God damn. I don't, all right, whatever. Let's go talk to the prince. You shouldn't be smoking indoors. You shouldn't be holding an, an unlit cigarette indoors. God. All right. Maybe they just ran out of dev time halfway through this game. Maybe I'm not halfway. Maybe they ran out of dev time a third of the way through this game. Whatever. I'm going to go to the place with the huge creepy statues on it. And we'll see what's going on. Oh, here's a whole other part of town I somehow missed. By taking the alley? Skyline Apartments. Nocturne Theater. Not owned by a vampire, we swear. Um, oh, this place is cool. This is the nightclub here. It's in this old church. Let's go in and check it out. While I am wandering randomly. Might as well. Hey, what? Come on, let me in. Hey, people I can talk to. Yeah, alright. This is better. Hold on. Let's talk to you first. Hey, what up? <laughs> I knew you talked to me. I swear, you were all, like, totally drawn to me. Wow. I'm surprised I don't know you. I usually meet all the L.A. vampires out on the scene. Not a lot of you out tonight, which is weird, because I don't know of any parties going on. Um, this girl probably doesn't think she knows what she thinks she knows. Vampires, huh? No, come on. It's totally cool. I'm Patty. Seriously, everyone knows me. Besides, I can't uh... Who's this lucky someone? His name is Kent Allen Ryan. He's a Toreador. Really good looking. Dresses really well. Like all Prada, usually. I may have heard his name. Oh? Well, he's pretty powerful. He's probably, like, too far behind the scenes for you to know about him. Maybe you know some of the people who work for him. Um. I... I have to go. No, don't go. I really need to find him. Really. Maybe you can ask around. Um, why should I? Oh, look. I haven't seen him in days. He said he'd come see me again. He promised. I might age. He promised <coughs> I wouldn't get thirsty. Okay. Okay, well, I don't know what to tell you. Oh, fine. You're just some no get fledgling. I hung out with way more powerful wow. than you'll ever know. Wow. I wouldn't drink your gutter blood if you were the last vampire on Earth. Hmm. Goodbye. So, did that go in my quest log? No. Wow, and I apparently pissed her off beyond anywhere. Mm -hmm. Wow, she... You're kind of... What? Um, I just wanted to see if your voice was angelic as you... It is. You what? I've never seen you in here before. That's because I... Just got out of jail. I'm sorry. I like men. I am a man. Or gender. Hello there. What are you? Really? Uh. Let me get my coat. 
I left it with a guy who'll be getting some off me tonight. Wow. Wow. Shut down. Hey, what's up? Not interested. Good. God damn it. I, I must I smell like sewer. What? Okay, guys. Check out this new dance move I've invented. It's called the... Alright, whatever. So, I'm obviously not charming enough to hit up any of the ladies in this town. Okay. Can I go? No, oh, it's locked. Alright. Whatever. Fine. You did not see the cool glitches as I opened the door. That was not what you saw at all. The screen did not wig out. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Wow. I feel so, like, worthless. Okay. This looks kind of like Captain Douchebag's house. Go check it out. Man, this episode I've kind of just been shut down over and over again. We'll see. Uh, doop, 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 doop. Hey, man, you look familiar. Hey there, Chief. Small world, huh? <laughs> yep, after that gallery, uh, I didn't think I'd be able to get a job guarding a room full of jack squat from the boogity man. <laughs> But then I get a call offering me this sweet night shift slot, and I'm back in a security game. Ah, well, uh, enough about my lucky break. You, uh, here to see one of the big wigs, Chief? Yep, I'm here to see LaCroix. Would that be Sebastian LaCroix of the LaCroix Foundation, or Dwayne LaCroix of Insurrection Baby Formula Company? Sebastian, please. Uh, okay then. Mr. LaCroix, he told me to expect someone fitting your description sometime tonight. You go right on up. Thanks, man. Yeah, uh, you have a good power meeting, or uh, whatever it is you type do up there. Do you need any security? Well, you just ring the front desk and ask for Officer Chunk. That's me, in case you were wondering. Did you say Chunk? Ah, uh, yeah, I, I get that all the time. The name goes back to my football days. Oh, actually, uh, my fantasy football days at, at the station. Stationary him. That was this office fly out the mall I watched. <laughs> hey, you kids! No skating in the parking lot! <laughs> that was me. Awesome. All right, be seeing you later, Chunk. My samurai sword does not set off the metal detector. All right, let's not poke around too much. Let's just ride up to the second floor. This sort of reminds me of the set from Equilibrium. A boop. This reminds me of a different set from Equilibrium. All right. There you are. I was informed of your presence in the building. Since you're here, I'll take the liberty of assuming you've destroyed the warehouse. This is correct, yes? Y yes. Most excellent. I had no <laughs> doubt you'd prove my decision a prudent one. I trust you encountered no impediments to your progress on account of my personnel. Mm, none at all. That is the answer I want to hear. You've done well. I'm not going to rat on Mercurio. That bro is my bro. I will admit, not many in your position would have overcome such a trial. But don't misunderstand me. It was no fool's errand. It was you not. yet proved to be a genuine asset. It's a bit disturbing, a lack of talent within this organization as of late. Tell me, what would you say to doing a bit of reconnaissance for me? I'd say yes, sir. Excellent. Were you by chance in the military at all? I was an officer myself, actually. In Napoleon's ranks, there have been whispers, rumors spreading around the kindred community concerning the Elizabeth Dane. The cargo I remember hearing about that, yeah. Port recently. Have you heard of it? Yes, go on. The police are investigating the Dane as we speak. Even the Nosferatu have little information on what's been found. However, the reason the ship has caused such speculation is because it was transporting an object called the Ankaran Sarcophagus. Now, okay. I don't want to predicate a decision based on conjecture, so what I need is fact. And more importantly, I need evidence that the occurrences on the Dane were not supernatural in nature, and in no way relate to this Ankaran Sarcophagus. 
All right. You have three objectives. One, I want you to examine the sarcophagus for anything unusual. You may sense something peculiar about the sarcophagus. In fact, many kindred in the city have reported an uneasiness in the air since the Dane's arrival. Do not, under any circumstances, open the Ankaran sarcophagus. Secondly, the police have begun their investigation. Find out what they have concluded thus far. Okay. Thirdly, take the cargo manifest for the ship. I want to find out what else it was carrying. The last thing we want is police aware of our existence. So, be careful what you do in front of them. And unlike the warehouse, you cannot wholesale slaughter a ship full of lawmen without consequences. Is this understood? So you heard about that, huh? Yeah, not my best work. Good. Oh, and it has come to my attention that you had an encounter with Nimes Rodriguez earlier. The man so does love to throw that cretinous charm of his brashly about. What exactly did Mr. Rodriguez say? Mm, yeah, I can't lie. He asked me to come visit him. I see. Then, you should go humor the by the numbers rhetoric he's so desperately aching to spew. Oh, please, before the chance of fascist oppressor from that dive of theirs clog the air and choke the local kind. I have a feeling that you're a capitalist. I'll go see him. Give the Anarch community my regards. I will. Okay. I'm out of here. What? What? Oh, that was nice, you guys. All right, cool. Hit the streets. All right, I think I've wasted enough of your guys' good time in this episode. What I'm going to do is cut it here and keep going. So that if you want, you can basically skip me completely doing nothing for an hour. All right, later, guys.